you can believe it, fall slash autumn is on the way. Okay, and I don't know about you, but I haven't really felt like we've had much of a summer. However, if there was one thing I love, it's autumn fashion. Okay, I really feel like out of all of the seasons, autumn is the fashion season in which we can all thrive. Let's get those jackets put to use. Okay, those versatile layering. Okay, there's so much, so much that can be done. This is a reminder to myself that I clearly need to iron my t-shirts before coming on camera. Thought I could get away with it, clearly could not. And um, I was watching Karen Britchick the other day and she did a video about her favourite transitional pieces to go from summer into autumn and I liked the idea so I thought that I would do the same with my own spin on it. I will have Karen's video below. I asked her, she said it was fine if I did this. Check hers out. So if we have any similarities, any differences. These are the pieces that are versatile, okay? These are not just season specific. And while we do have those like very season specific, great pieces, a summer dress, whatever, these are the ones that you're going to really get your bang for your buck because you can use them throughout different seasons with a little bit of a restyle. Links will be below to the items or similar or in the prompt on the screen. Shall we begin? I'm going to start off with a category that I was never a fan of until this year, okay? And that is the jean jacket, I know, okay? Up until this year, I was like, I've come to terms with the fact that the jean jacket is not for me. I will never find one that works. Um, you know, it just doesn't, I don't find it easy to work with. And then I got this Mugler one. And it turns out that you just have to find the style that works for you. I've since bought another, I will show you. But what I love about a jean jacket, now in the summer, it's a topper. Okay, you're going to wear it maybe if you're going for dinner at night, something like that, where like, oh, it has the, maybe it's gonna, maybe the wind is blowing, but the sun is shining. You just need a little something over the shoulder, right? And then obviously you can layer her up for autumn winter but what i like about this one is the fact that it's cropped and then you have a bit of volume in the sleeves right and listen while some people are out here doing the double denim justice good for you Brittany and justin would be very proud i have tried and i it doesn't feel right with me it doesn't feel right within my soul apologies to the canadians but what i do like to do this with is a like a trouser, like a cargo pants and like we're going to be talking about cargo pants a lot so don't drink every time I say cargo pants because you will end up with alcohol poisoning. I recently bought this one and I am obsessed to a different level. I mean this is an insane Marc Jacobs denim jacket and it's a peplum. I know, shock horror. Okay, do you remember when people were, oh my gosh, peplum. Oh, you know, it's so 2012, blah, blah, blah. Not this one. Hold on a sodding second. Are you seeing that? Are you seeing that nip in the waist? Sturtening, okay? Obsessed, and then look at the, look at the arms. Do you see how there's like a bit of volume? A bit of ballooning. Now, something like this, again, now, as a topper, right we can you know fold the arms up whatever but when the temperature drops she is going to be done with just like a, like a close to the body thin bodysuit you do her up oh my gosh with a jean like just oh my gosh there's something about her that gives me sort of like renaissance vibes it's the it's the poof it's the poof of the arms and it's this but anyway this with a legging and a boot are you kidding me you know that that's my vibe and i shall be executing it this with a skirt and tights i'm obsessed with it i think also the fact that it's black denim in my head makes it easier to work with as opposed to something like this I don't know i think i can't get over the double denim in my mind so this i still feel is a little bit harder to style than something like this where I'm still doing denim. Denim is also a very big trend, but in a way that I find easy to work with my style and my wardrobe. I find it has enough of a contrast to jeans, there we go, that it doesn't feel too double denim-y, even though it is. So denim jackets, they come in so many different cuts. You can do like an oversized shirt denim jacket. That's gonna work well for the summer because you can roll up the sleeves now. Maybe with like a little 
t-shirt or a crop top and you know, a pair of shorts or trousers whatever and then obviously you layer her up for autumn. Guys, if you are new here, my name is Cassie and I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. So if you like luxury fashion, then I think that you're gonna love it here. So head on there, subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never. Okay, second item. I'm going to put this in a category of a light trouser. I don't know what else to call it. You know how you have very season specific fabrics. So for summer, like um, a cotton trouser on the thinner side, maybe it's got an elasticated waistband. You might do a silk trouser, something like that. It's flowy, it's easy, it's light. That kind of category, but with a little bit more thickness. So it's going to work for summer and autumn. Stop talking in riddles, Cassie. Give us an example. Okay, so I've got these Theory Cargo trousers and they are that perfect sort of mid-weight. They are light enough such that I can wear them now and not want to die when I step outside or melt into the grates on the floor. However, they are also a really nice weight such that I'm not going to be shivering in the autumn. Another example of something like this would be the Loewe Gabardine trousers. They're sort of beige, um, they've got the anagrams on the knees, that kind of, I'm talking about that kind of weight. There's loads of like flowy cotton sort of trousers or a little bit more tailored versions that you can go through, but you know me, it's been an effort to try and find trousers that aren't skinny that I like. So, when I have found ones that resonate with me, these are them. My gosh, Cassie, didn't you fly out? Be embarrassed of yourself. Um, then I'm sticking with them. And then you can build from there. So now I would wear something like this with, I do like doing a full monochromatic beige look um, with something like, you know, she's giving Zookeeper, she's giving Safari, that kind of thing. But also it's a great neutral that works with the blacks, darker colours, you can do blues with this, give us a bag as a pop, you're done. And then when we go into autumn, let's get the turtlenecks out. You know I'm ready for that, you know I'm a turtleneck girl. I'm obsessed with turtlenecks, I think turtlenecks look great on everybody. I don't make the rules, they are the unsung heroes of the wardrobe. That's not what this video is about Cassie, fine, but you get my drift. Something like this turtleneck jacket you're done another example of a trouser that fits into this category are these like more tailored trousers that i have from new glare but you understand what i mean they're sort of light they come in various different fabrics and styles and cuts that suit you but something like this my next category when i was thinking about this video i was like my gosh turns out i've got quite a few of those i love a pleated skirt so i've got some examples for you this actually is a very old one. This is my mum's that I used to steal all the time and she eventually gave in and gave it to me. This is from Pringle of Scotland and it's this sort of like, it's like a canvassy, I think it used to be waxed but over the years it's not. But you know, it's got pleating on the back, this sort of kilt-like vibe. This is my most recent purchase, that's the back. This is a Tom Brown skirt. Now you do her bare-legged you do a little white t-shirt on your way, okay? And then autumn, let's get a nice 20, 30 denier tight going. Pair of boots, you can do a ballet flat, they're having a moment, whatever. You can do a turtleneck, I don't know. You can do a thick jumper. They're, they're one of those really great pieces that they have a bit of interest because of the cut of them, because they're pleated, they have a really great movement. I think that they look interesting. You can get some really cool ones in lots of different colours. Obviously I've got a sort of wool based one here. This is one by Dion Lee and you've got a contrast stitching situation. They go with any variety of top you can think of. They're a workhorse in the wardrobe. They really are. I love it. You can dress them up so easily. Just put it on with a heel and you're good. They look great in all situations. 
I love a good sodding pleated skirt and no you won't just look like a schoolgirl all the time though I do sometimes like to play that up and we do it with a nice collegiate you know looking jumper the next category I found a bit of a hard one to sort of talk about because it's shoes and then I sort of started thinking and I was like oh my gosh I tend to wear the same kinds of shoes all year round except sandals are for summer and boots are for autumn winter but what are my transitions and other people wear other kinds of flats right for example the ballet flats they're having a moment there are so many different varieties that you can get now something like that would make a great transitional shoe however i'm not a ballet flat girl and again go within what with whatever is within your style but to be honest with you you know i'm a sneaker girl and i'm gonna wear them all sodding seasons summer to autumn autumn to winter winter to spring spring to summer get your sneakers out i'm a big sneaker fan you're not surprised to hear that however i do have an i do have a controversial suggestion of a type of shoe that initially you might be like that doesn't make any sense why an open toe shoe when it's autumn but hear me out shearling slides <laughs> listen don't knock it till you've tried it it's like wearing your bedroom slippers on the street. It's glorious. Um, it's a wonderful, cosy experience. And yes, there's a time and a place, okay? But when I tell you, if you've got like a nice flowy trouser with these on one of the warmer autumn, you know, days, it doesn't have to be hot because this shearling, that gets you nice and toasty. So there we go. That was my little controversial, controversial suggestion. Shearling lined shoes are having a moment. All right, just look at Burberry, look at Kate so don't laugh at me laugh at the game don't hate the play hate the game bags again i was sort of thinking about bags and i was like but most bags except for maybe like a basket bag beach bag sort of style or something that's like made of shearling or fuzzy or furry other bags are multi-seasonal however the bag sort of style that i've picked today is mainly based on the fact that this is a huge trend, metallics. Now, while she may no longer be available, RIP, that was a terrible. Chlorophyll was one of the best varieties of the mini Jody, okay? But anyway, I don't make those decisions. Metallics are having a very big trend moment um, over, over the next few seasons. So get your metallic bags out. Silver and golds are very, very easy to style. I'm not gonna lie to you, they're a neutral. Lots and lots of brands are giving us delicious molten metallic moments. So I would say if you've got a metallic bag, bring it out. Start using it now, establishing it in your wardrobe well into autumn. If you're in the market for something interesting and a little bit punchy and statementy in terms of a bag, Cast your eyes over to the metallic options, truly. I will have some below. Okay, the next suggestion I have, have I, I, I told you this, I feel like I'm having like a little bit of a, I'm really enjoying interesting white shirts. Sometimes the classics are classic for a reason, but doesn't mean that they have to be boring. I love a white shirt. And I think that it's one of those things, again, you can wear it now in the summer, roll up the sleeves, maybe do a couple of unbuttons, get your bra out for the lads, I'm joking. Roll the sleeves down in the autumn, tuck it in into a pair of jeans if you want to do a sort of very sort of classic look. You can do it with a skirt, whatever bottoms your heart desires. However, we don't just have to go for the same old crisp white cotton shirt. I have some examples for you. I don't know how to describe this collar for you, but it's sort of, um, it comes up like this, right? It gives a little bit of, it's got like easy to work with drama. Does that make sense? It doesn't take too much away, but there's a bit of like an intrigue and like, oh my gosh, this looks really interesting and put together. This is actually by, I believe, an Irish equestrian brand. Then we've got something like this. This is collarless, this Attico shirt. And really, again, so again, there's something different happening. My gosh, does that need an iron? Wow, I just come on here and I just embarrass myself. Okay, but you get the idea. I'll have a picture of me wearing it here. Again, a twist on a classic. Or sometimes, you know, I talk about this Vivian Westwood uh, shirt often, a strong collar, okay? Again, it just gives a little bit of something to the classic 
usual white shirt that you know we maybe associate a little bit more with going to work or a work wardrobe a business casual vibe it gives a bit of strength a little bit of the dramatics to an everyday simple look and sometimes that's all it takes and finally i am demonstrating the last category of transitional seasonal pieces um bold earrings uh, i don't know if you've seen these i did speak about them in a video recently talking about how i'm obsessed with them these are the jennifer fisher puffy heart earrings in the gold right they're actually they're very light on the ears so don't worry about me they also come in silver and i also think rose gold and what i love about them is once again if you've had enough and you're like i just want to put on something very simple and easy i can't be bothered today okay t-shirt and jeans with a jacket turtleneck and whatever add these and all of a sudden oh my gosh she's a stylish queen get her on the front cover of vogue why is she not on a runway number one style icon of 2023 you know that's all it takes sometimes now bold earrings are definitely having a moment bold metallic studs specifically if we look at something like the Bottega Veneta drop earrings that everybody was going on about that kind of thing but there are lots of different options available such as this lots of brands are also bringing their own versions of something like that over the next couple of months slash are already coming in now maybe you've got one nestled in the back of your drawer and you're like do you want to know what it's time to get it out it does add a level of glamour a level of just it just looks like you thought about it a little bit more than you did when really all you did was put on a pair of gold studs right chunky gold studs it brings an extra level to the look and it's something that again this is a year-round thing and you can have lots of fun with it and that's what I like right here I am look I'm doing t-shirt and jeans today put these on thank you very much I've got my doctor's appointment at 2 for uh, 2 15 she's not gonna know what's hit her I hope that this video was helpful I hope that either made you rediscover stuff that you already had or I don't know maybe it was helpful in the fact that now you want to go and buy some of the stuff that I've mentioned whichever one or maybe you were just nosy I'm happy with that too I'm going to leave a link to another video over here in case you haven't already seen it have an amazing morning afternoon or evening wherever you are and in the words of my father if you've enjoyed it tell your friends if you haven't keep your mouth shut I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye, guys.